Welcome to Kator at Well. All first-time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the North Gate. This is Devlin Forward! We were hit! God damn it, I repeat! We were hit! <coughs> Titan 1 Actual here. What's your status, Captain? It got punched out. Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy. Switch your comm gear to Tank 3. Meet up at the rally point. Only found on Katorga 12. 
There are many different ways to help the efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your families will live well on the island, and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. Scientific research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function, creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12 to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that will make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go toward achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against the forces of the West. You are the lucky one selected for service on Katorga 12. We have moved your family for your convenience. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNL is running carpool from there. Double time it. Move! of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has increased tenfold since Dr. Demichev went to Moscow. His presentation of our work must have been very successful. Additional facilities are being built and our research funds continue to grow. And to think, only four weeks ago Dr. Demichev almost died in that fire. Whoever saved him did us all a huge favor.
know how much time I have, so I'll make this quick. The Singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. It's mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me. Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little south of normal, because I'm officially freaking out! Open section 8 here. I know it, damn it. Okay. Okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. Anyone should find this recording, please. Our children are hiding in a room at the top of the stairs. They only have a limited amount of food and water and won't be able to last for much longer. Please. They're so scared. Titan 1, if you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school, and there's some guy... 
Holy mother! Dr. Demichev has told us the equipment they're installing at the school is safe, but I'm worried. I have a friend who works at one of the animal testing labs, and he told me E-99 mutates living flesh. How could they expose the children to something like that?
is our good friend Dr. E-99. He's our answer to the growing menace of the United States. You see, America created the atomic bomb, a powerful weapon they use twice now on large cities. But thanks to a recent discovery, we control something much more powerful. We control the might of E-99. E-99 is a rare element that can only be found deep underground here on Katorga 12. A base was built on this island to study it. You see, our scientists think that someday they will be able to use E-99 to accomplish some pretty amazing things. Like taking barren farmland and making it productive again. Or taking a sick man and making him a super soldier. They even hope to be able to turn back the clock on old citizens and make them young again. The might of E-99 means we no longer need to fear America's atomic power. The possibilities for E-99 seem endless. Who knows? With its help, we may soon be able to travel through time itself. But whatever its uses, we can sleep soundly, knowing that E-99 will protect us from the evils of the West and make the Soviet Union a safe and dominant superpower. Another event, this one much worse than the last. It has exceeded Barisov's threshold. We are securing the facility, and then we will make our way down the hill. We must leave Katorga 12 at once.
the hell were these things? Have seen anything like them? Did the Russians create them? If they did, why? I could have missed it, but I'm pretty sure a massive pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission briefing. Devlin 4-1, do you copy Titan 1? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4-1 on guard frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Search and rescue teams better be on the freaking way right now. Let's go. The uniform is a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Let's go. the door then cover me on me all clear Rico flank right I'll go left
There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan 1 and get out of this circle jerk. On me! It's 86th. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch.
ask your mic. Head back to my position. Shit, more of those things. Grab that rifle. We gotta clear a path. Nice shoot! Let's move! Chopper! And it's not one of ours! Get down! scanning for any more of those creatures. People Let's have go. turned off the carts. Many are dead. Most of the others have fled deeper into the island. Find my Nadia. Uh, finally. Jesus, it's like an antique show in here. Titan 1, this is Devlin 4 1 Actual. Do you copy? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4 1 Actual. We're primed for extraction. All squadrons on alert. Again with the Russians? Say again, this is Devlin 4 1. Yeah, they must be jamming our comms. It's all Russian all the time. Does anything work on this goddamn island? Of course not. This place has been abandoned for nearly. Who the hell is this? Shit, these guys don't look friendly. Have a bad day here.
Captain Renko. You are Captain Renko, are you not? Don't look so surprised. Your name's right on your uniform. America's charming pension for individuality. Now, I have some questions for you. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you get from us, Ivan. Check your Geneva Convention handbook. I did away with that little inconvenience years ago. <laughs> Our officers in the United States military. I want to talk to someone in our embassy. I think you'll find that impossible for a number of reasons. Our embassy, right now! That's better. How is it you haven't aged a day in 50 years? There is only one explanation. The TMD, where is it? Straight through the doorway. Just follow the open doors. Run! Run! Nathaniel Renko. My god, you're here. Just like Mir-12 said. You must have a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of time. Quickly, this way. My name is Catherine. I belong to an organization known as Mir-12. Here. This should answer some of your questions. We are Mir-12. Our mission is to reveal the truth that's been hidden from the entire world. In the 1950s, a military research base was built on the island of Katorga-12. To this day, the government denies its existence. That is a lie. According to top secret documents we've uncovered, the base was the site of research involving the mineral E-99. The E-99 research program was headed by two men. Dr. Viktor Barasov, a top researcher in the field of quantum physics. He didn't live to see the outcome of his work. Reports say he was killed in an unexplained laboratory accident. This man stepped in to lead the program after Barasov's death. He went on to lead Russia in a war for world domination. A war won using super-powered weaponry developed at Katorga-12. Today, we know him as Chancellor Nikolai Demichev, leader of the world government. The events surrounding Demichev's rise to power are still a mystery. Our organization is in possession of a journal that claims Demichev is a fraud. It raises many questions about Katorga-12. What happened there to put Chancellor Demichev in power? What could have caused so much destruction and taken so many lives? Evidence points to this structure on Katorga 12, the Singularity. What is the Singularity? The journal claims one man will lead us to the answers. His name is Captain Nathaniel Renko. It is our mission to locate Captain Renko and help him achieve his goal. We are mere 12. We will reveal the truth.